Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Kowski of Fun Day back at it once again, kicking it for you and for yours. And um, as usual, you know, we got to start again showing love to our ancestors, you know what I'm saying? For giving us the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. And give a shout out to y'all for, you know, um, listening, lookership, whatever you're doing. This one right here, the, F, the letter the FBI sent to MLK urged him to kill himself. Mm. We're going to read about this. There's a page you see right here, a picture of Martin Luther King, you know. From 1954 to 1968, Martin Luther King Jr., an American Baptist minister, was the most visible spokesperson and leader in the civil rights movement. By 1955, the Federal Bureau of Investigation, the FBI, had begun monitoring King, especially during his involvement of the Montgomery boycott, bus boycott. Its director at the time, J. Edgar Hoover, was personally hostile towards King as he believed that his civil rights leader was influenced by communists. Thus, Hoover and his bureau started a series of covert operations against King during the 1960s. Things got worse when King delivered his I Have a Dream speech before a huge crowds in August 1963 at the March on Washington for Jobs and Freedom in Washington, D.C., we must mark him now, if we had done so before, as the most dangerous Negro of the future in this nation from the standpoint of communism, the Negro and national security. FBI Domestic Intelligence Chief William Sullivan wrote in a memo speech in the memo two days after the speech. Regarded as one of the most famous speeches in U.S. history and a pivotal moment in the civil rights movement, the speech called for civil and economic rights and the end of racism in the U.S. Under the FBI's domestic counterintelligence program, COINTELPRO, reports said King was subject to various kinds of FBI surveillance. Through the mass surveillance failed to show that King was a communist, it produced alleged evidence of his extramarital affairs. Technicians at the bureau prepared a package containing so-called tapes, sex tapes of King and sent it to his home alongside a letter. The package was opened by the civil rights leader's wife. You have been on record all your adulterous acts, your sexual orgies extended far into the past. But what is this one is but a simple, a teeny sample, the letter read. Your honorary degrees, your Nobel Prize, and what a grim farce, and other wars will not save you. King, I alone, I repeat that you are done. The unsigned letter, which is unearthed by Yale historian Beverly Gage in 2014, added. There is only one thing left for you to do, and you know what it is. You have 34 days. The letter continued, option urging King to commit suicide. Even though the letter was unsigned, was written in the tone of an aggravated black person, King and the virus were smart enough to know it was coming from the FBI. Not backing down, the iconic leader continued his civil rights campaigns. Note that he embarked on a series of demonstrations, gone to jail, and apart from being threatened with death. Before passing away in 1968, King had made plans for another march on Washington to revive his movement and to bring attention to the scores of issues. On April 3rd, he gave his final speech, which proved to be prophetic speech, I have been to the mountaintop, and which he told his supporters in the Mason Temple in Memphis, I seen the promised land. I may not get there with you, but I want you to know that tonight as a people, we will get to the promised land. The next day he died. So we're going to read this full letter right quick. Hold on. We're going to read what the FBI sent to him. You know, it's kind of bogus that they said that, you know, before his passing, before he got murdered. You know what I'm saying? He was assassinated. You know what I'm saying? Before his passing. But we're going to read the letter. Get into that right quick. All right, here go the letter. King, in view of your low grade, abnormal personal behavior, I will not dignify your name with either a mister or a reverend or a doctor. And your last name calls to mind the only type of king, such as King Henry VIII, and his countless acts of adultery and immoral conduct, lower than that of a beast. King, look into your heart 
and know that you are a complete fraud and a great liability to all us Negroes. White people in the country have enough frauds of their own, but I am sure they don't have one at this time that's anywhere near your equal. You are no clergyman and you know it. I repeat, you are a colossal fraud, an evil and vicious one at that. You cannot believe in God and act the way you do. Clearly you don't believe in any personal moral principles. King, like all frauds your end is approaching, and you could have been one of our greatest leaders. You, even at an early age, turned out not to be a leader, but a dissolute, abnormal, abnormal, moral imbecile. We now had to depend on our older leaders like Wilkins, a man of character. Thank God we have others like him. Pause for a minute. Why would they bring up why would the FBI bring up Wilkins if he wasn't in the fold? Think about that. But you are done. Your honorary agrees, your Nobel Prize, what a grim farce, and other wars will not save you, King. I repeat, you are done. No person can overcome facts, not even far like yourself. Lend your sexuality, your sexually psychotic ear to that enclosure, and you will find yourself in all the dirt and filth, evil, moronic talk exposed on a record for all time. I repeat, no one can argue successfully against the facts. You are finished. You will find on the record of all your filth and dirty, evil uh, campaigns, male and female, giving expressions with you and your hideous abnormalities, and some of them pretend to be ministers of the gospel. Satan could do no more. What incredible evilness. It is all there on the record, your sexual orgies. Listen to your filth, abominable animal. You abominable animal. Mm. And normal animal, excuse me. You are on the record, and you have been on the record. All your adulterous acts, your sexual orgies, and stand far into the past. This one is but a teeny sample. You understand this. Yes, you are from various real evil playmates, goes on from the East Coast to blanked out, and others on the West Coast. And outside the country, you are on the record. King, you are done. The American public, the church organizations that have been helping Protestant, Catholic, and Jews will know you for what you are, an evil, abnormal beast. So what others have blackened you, back of you, you are done. King, there's only one thing left for you to do, and you know what it is. You have 34 days to do which is to do. It's exactly the number have been selected for a specific reason. And it's a definite practical significance. You are done. There's only way one day out for you. Better take it before your filthy, abnormal, fraudulent is barred to the nation. And there you have it. That's what they were talking about, King, and stuff like that. That's the FBI letter, you know. It's like the pot, skittle, you know, pot kind of kettle black, basically, because, you know, Hoover was a super freak, you know. I know a lot of black people get mad, like you won't get mad and stuff. Like, why are you talking about the letter and just the FBI? They made that stuff. It's a lot of people that back up this stuff, black and white, that he was doing, that he was having extramarital affairs. Make him no mess in the man, but you know what I'm saying? Here, you know what he's doing. But yes, it was it's well, overly well documented. They never called Malcolm. They have, you know what I'm saying? Never Malcolm was on many wiretaps. They ain't never called him. You know what I'm saying? He's talking like this, you know. They ain't saying out of there, but you know, it shows in the movie Malcolm X when they said, like, um, he made King like a monk in the way he was so pious to Betty and stuff. So there was wiretaps out there and they knew about it. Anywho, this is a Koski of Fun Day. Much love to you and yours, you know what I'm saying? Subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, subscribe. We got more stuff coming to Black History like this. Peace.